Do you guys wanna check out what's new at Costco with me? Because it is a rainy day and I wanna run up to Costco to see what new learning stuff they have. It's been a while, I think since maybe before Christmas since I've checked it out. So let's do that. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet and I just put up an Instagram on my phone at Stories asking you guys if I should run over to Costco to check out all the new learning items they have. And I wanted to check out the results. I'm thinking, yeah, so I have a lot of yeses right now and only a couple no's. So I think we're gonna head over there, check it out. They tend to have a lot of good stuff in the book section for kids. So I'm gonna go over there and see what they have. I made it to Costco. Whew, let's go see what they have. Soon as I went into the store, I headed right over to the book section. This is where you're gonna find the good stuff. They have tons of options for both adults and kids, and I wanted to show you a few finds. But first, these wall maps were amazing. They're large laminated wall maps, but this one was my favorite because it catered more towards kids. And on the map itself, it had all of these illustrations that kind of had some questions that belonged to them so you could find the answer on the illustrated map. It's also dry erase, which is pretty cool, and there's one for the world and one for the United States. And even more amazing is the price, $14.99 for both of these. That is a score, especially if you have a homeschool room and you would like to hang up a map. Definitely worth buying. These are a must have. These little kits are also really cute. There's several books in here and then it has the touch buttons on it to make the corresponding sounds in the book. These are a lot of funds for gifts. I think it's really great for a child who is very sensory hungry and wants to push all of the buttons to hear the sounds that go along with the story. It's also great to encourage somebody to read a book by having the buttons to press when they read along with you. These were really cool. They're giant sticker creativity art books, I guess you could call them. Inside they have different scenes plus huge sheets of stickers so you can make your own scenes. I do think it's pretty cool that these come in major characters that everybody knows like the Avengers and My Little Pony and Paw Patrol so you're sure to find a character that your child likes. Likes. and they're made by Benden. This is the company that does a lot of things that are in the Target dollar section. Then underneath those, I found these search and find books. How cool, they're huge pads and they have a whole list of search and find items. Great for visual scanning, checking things out, trying to find them. I love these a lot. I think this is an amazing find as well. And this will go a long way <laughs> when you're trying to find all these search and find items. They also had a spot the difference book. So it had several different pictures that you had to look to spot the difference between the pictures, which I also think is a great exercise to do. On the back of each sheet, it gives you the answers in case you get stuck. And I also like that sometimes they had more than just a couple of pictures on each page to make it even harder. And then they had the scavenger hunt, which is very similar to like the find this picture thing too, but the same concept, lots of things to look for and hunt for in a big picture, kind of like the I Spy books. Those are pretty popular and I talk about those kind of often too. So this one is filled with all kinds of scavenger hunt things that you can find. We do have a set of these, but what really caught my eye is these Britannica ones that are kind of have these facts in them. So it's not just storybooks, it's a lot of um, facts that go into here in all different kinds of category, like you would in encyclopedia. And then here's all the books that are inside, and then it has the corresponding button pushing kind of mechanism <laughs> machine, where you can push the buttons in here, all kinds of different things. So those are really fun, but particularly that one, they also had the regular storybooks with the characters, the popular characters, if you're more interested in those two. Who doesn't love little people? Well, I certainly do. In fact, I'm kind of sad that we're going past the little people age because this was one of the best times, I think. But this kit comes with a storybook, a play mat, and some characters to play on top of the play mat. And they're all the little people. They are simply adorable. And then if you do like these kits that come with the figurines and the play mats, they had a couple other different styles too. All kinds of fun kits. And they still had the Lego ones. These were back, uh, these were around back when we did a uh, Costco Christmas edition and they have the Legos inside that you can build something and a mat that you can play on top of that. So I do like these a lot too. We still have ours there in our rainy day closet. I do also think that these are pretty cool chapter books with the popular characters inside of them. These are the Disney princess characters. They had a few others to choose from if Disney princesses aren't your thing like these Star Wars one and then some of the action heroes too. This maps book I thought was pretty pretty fabulous. If I'm going to give you a little peek inside here. It's just a giant 
book of maps all throughout the world and it has all of these interesting facts and things placed on top of the map so you can find where things originate from, what they're known for, animals that are popular there, um, all kinds of other things that would be on a map of interest so you can do kind of a reference book with these. If your child is too young for the encyclopedia map type of book then you might like these flip books. My kids love flip books when they were younger and actually they think they still do. This one is really cute. It's all about kittens and you flip over and you can see the kitten inside. They had a couple of different styles of these including puppies and all you need to do is flip over the flap as you read the story and see what's hiding behind it. Very colorful, very cute and this brand DK is also an amazing brand that you can find lots of good stuff with. I'm just going to go ahead and let the camera roll over a couple of these books here so you can get an idea of the kinds of selections they have in the hardcover books. Costco really carries some great titles in hardcover and these are great collector's items. They make great gifts. If you don't have them on your shelf, you might want to check them out or maybe you had your eye on one and didn't quite know if you wanted it. This is a good opportunity to get them. I think their selection here in the hardbacks are pretty amazing. Plus I found a couple of titles I haven't seen before that I was kind of interested in. And of course they have chapter books like crazy. <laughs> Diary of a Wimpy Kid is a huge series right now. Very popular with the kids. And then also I found these board book blocks. So they're board books, but they're huge. This one's all about dinosaurs, but look how thick this is. That is amazing. I really do like that. And then back to the chapter books. This, These are probably the usual selection that they have. They kind of switch them out every now and then, but if your child likes any of these series, this is the place to go to get the whole entire set in case they want to read through and <laughs> read them pretty quick, which is what usually happens with these chapters books. If you wanted to start chapter books a little bit younger, they had a couple of picture book chapter books. Is that what they would be called? Maybe I should just call them picture books. This series I haven't seen before. If you know if it's any good, let me know. And they had the nursery rhymes. Really, really cute. I like the illustrations on these. The I Can Read books. This is where we get a lot of our beginner reader books. They come in a couple packs, like maybe eight to a pack, at ten to a pack, just kind of depends. And they all have the same theme. Really enjoy reading these and we have a couple of sets. This one was a really cool reference book. If you need something, a book about facts, this one was really cool. Cool, very bright, very colorful. If you have a child that's really into learning about things, they probably really like this. I know my oldest used to love fact books and we would get them all the time. This one was about Earth and they also had one that was about fantastic facts, which had a whole bunch of general information and facts about the world we live in. Very interesting, great reference book, particularly for that middle school age. Okay, I really thought these were cool. Five minute story books. So each story inside this book is gonna take you five minutes to read. So when you are just dead tired at night, but you still wanna get that story in, these might be the ones that you reach for. And look, they have so many different titles. I was almost gonna buy this Peanuts one, but I didn't. Might have to go back for that. But five minute stories, pretty cool. Here's the homeschool stuff. I know a lot of you are really interested in this. This one is a sight words book, which it looks like it had a couple pages dedicated to each sight word, which is pretty interesting. But what I do like about this workbook is that every page is different. I hate it when workbooks have the same thing over and over and over again. I think the variety is very, very nice. And these books are super thick. I mean, look at that. That's a couple inches thick. This one had a focus on puzzles and games for sight words. Here is a curriculum book. This one's for third grade. Once again, very, very thick. And it seemed pretty comprehensive. I just flipped through it. But if any of you have used these reference books, please write down below in the comments and let me know your experience so other people will know if they should go to Costco and buy it. I also found a whole bunch of these brain bender activity books. These were a little bit cheaper. They look to have maybe puzzles and things like that. Kind of those brain teaser puzzles to keep your mind working. This might be a good summer brain drain book, meaning using it in the summer to keep your skills sharp, keep your kids thinking and thinking logically. And then I also found a couple of word search books and travel activities. So these are things that you could just take with you on the go, maybe a restaurant kit, take it with you on the plane or in the car, just to kind of keep your brain occupied in a book form. Lots of puzzles in these. I really do think those are cool. Oh, and then I found one more. This one was activities for a healthy brain. Same concept, just kind of different contents inside. Here's another curriculum packet. This one was for preschool. Also underneath it was for kindergarten. Same thing, lots of great activities to do to, to keep those skills sharp, particularly in the summer, over those summer months. Bright, beautiful, colorful pages, a different activity on every page, which is something very important to me. And then they also had a kindergarten one. So maybe you're bridging over from one grade to another. This will kind of keep 
the skill shop for that. Brain Quest, I mean, Brain Quest is just amazing. This one's the summer edition. I really do like Brain Quest. I think they're really well thought out, bright and colorful. My kids seem to really enjoy doing them too. We used this purple one once before and we had a good time with it. It was just a workbook, so lots of things you can do with that. And I know some of you guys use Singapore math. They had Singapore math books here. Lots of different age ranges and grade levels too. So if you're looking for some math curriculum for next year, now is the time. They got you covered if you're into the Sing Singapore math. Oh, I found some school zone stuff. You all know I love the school zone stuff, especially when it's at the Dollar Tree. But these kits are really, really nice. They had this dry erase fold out here with lots of numbers. This one's for the lower levels. And then look at all these activities inside here. Really, really did like this. This one's been pretty fun. That's the preschool. And then they also had one that was for kindergarten, I believe. So this is a place to get your sets of Bob books if you're looking to start reading. Um, Bob books work off of phonetics. So if you are learning phonetics, this is a great tool to have. I have personally used the Bob Book series and I do like it. I haven't done a video about it. Maybe I should, but they did have some packets there. And of course I had to go to the back where they had all the outdoor stuff. I wanted to show you a couple things just for outdoor play. These are called zoodles, I think, and they float in your pool. Super cute. I really think they're adorable. I might have to go back to get one of these too. They're just like a pool noodle, but better. Look how cute the characters are. They had all kinds of different styles. They even had larger ones which cost a little bit more that you could ride on kind of like a inner tube love those and of course they had the more traditional ones too like these we've seen these all over the place and these are really really good quality if you need something for the pool and speaking of pools you might need a float <laughs> these are cute there's twins in here a twin pack of rafts and check out this price that is an amazing deal and they look to be very good quality but if you need something more you can get this raft for uh, $130. And then check out this giant slip and slide. I don't have room for this in my house, but it did look fun. So if you have a big yard, that's pretty amazing. It's huge. And if you don't have a pool and need one, they have these little baby pools here that have the little water squirters that come out. I think those are really fun too. So if you need a little pool, you might want to check that out. Kind of impressed with things that are at Costco. They have a really, really great selection and it's always changing too. If you found some really good things there, I always love it when you guys tell me in the comments the things that you are finding out there or they send me a message on Instagram to let me know. It's one of my favorite things to read. And I like hearing about all the things you're finding because, well, usually it makes me want to buy it. <laughs> but I like to share it with everyone else too. So leave me a comment down below. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.